Hi, this is Sherry Veronica. I think this should never be unless someone has died and the police forensics team has a body held so that they can figure out more about the cause of death. Anything outside of that after, well, even, not even after death, but before death, they know who's coming to the Queen Elizabeth Hospital to visit that particular person. They, they can write in their notes whether that person had a visitor or whether the last visitor said, well, I'm not coming back here for this particular person. If they die, don't call me. They, these things can be in the nurse's or doctor's notes that you are advised you are duly advised that when this person expires no one is coming to get the non-resource body this human resource and this human non-resource when you are dead you are no longer res and a resource unless they're going to make you you know put you in the ground and make you you know what, what do you call it fertilizer you know, you can become, you can give your body for that purpose to become fertilizer. But this should never, ever, ever, ever happen. Almost a million dollars a year just to keep a body cold. And Lynnhurst Funeral Home and the other one, Two Sons Funeral Home, they are getting, it's not a lot of money, forty-five, thirty-six thousand dollars $36,000 a month. It's not a lot, but still it's something. Is something and they're saying that this is coming out that well they're not saying that I'm saying this taxpayers money taxpayers money and I mean you guys are being taxed to the hilt you guys are really really being taxed and this is how they spend your money and then the thing also with keeping a dead body at the Queen Elizabeth Hospital by the time you come let's say just assuming that you came because you didn't hear that the person died and you came like a month or two later for the body it's already decomposing because their storage facility it does not work well it does not keep them ice cold like frozen cold like cold 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 it doesn't it doesn't i've heard stories of people going at the queen elizabeth hospital maybe it's better at their funeral homes but at the queen elizabeth hospital i've heard stories that the refrigeration there is not that good and dead bodies are decomposing while at storage at the Queen Elizabeth Hospital. Now, amendment to resolve issue. This has been a issue since you since from the beginning. Okay? Since from the beginning, this has been an issue. So for they what's his name again? Walker, they for they to come into the paper and talk about working on an amendment to resolve an issue that's age, age old, is old. He should be ashamed. She should be, ashamed. they should be ashamed. Okay. They should be ashamed. Okay. Now, this is my suggestion. Based on nurses' notes and doctors' notes and, you know, you know, you, you get a feel for things. Take a photo of the person with their ID and keep that in storage it doesn't have to be cold it doesn't have to be ice cold storage just keep it on storage and put that particular person in a potter's grave it's decent to do that it's decent it's a decent thing to do that most civilizations they honor their dead most do okay you if you started a work a construction job in the u.s and you hit a grave it's like hold hold up stop the presses you cannot you if there's more land let's say that you just bought a little plot like six thousand square foot plot and smack in the middle of your plot there's a there's a burial ground you lost that money you lost that money. You have to ask people and you have to make sure it's declared when you're buying land that there are no burial grounds on it because you cannot build. I think you have to go like a hundred feet out and this feet out and all this feet out. And what. You cannot build on a burial ground. It's serious stuff in countries. It's not the case in Barbados. That's not the case in Barbados. But still, you should respect the dead even though they may have been a pedophile when they're alive and a thief when they're alive and you know they could be not the best you know 
of persons when they were alive. But now that they are a non-resource, okay, you can't do anything with them. That you can't do all. They're taking money. They're not bringing in money. You're wasting money on on this particular non-resource. Okay, it's a it's a body that is not working, no longer viable. Put it in the ground, or maybe create waste like fertilizer like i said but do not keep you should be ashamed you should be ashamed to come into the paper and talk about since 2019 since 2019 that you had this particular set of bodies just like accumulating just bury them get a potter's grave and bury them and i'm saying to keep their id and take a photo of them and keep it in a safe or you know keep it in the archives <laughs> Keep it at the archives. Yeah, keep it somewhere. But to say that you are going to amend something? Nah, come on, man. Come on, man. Okay? Just bury these people. Bury them with post haste. Bury them quickly. Okay, you, you already know that no one is coming for them. No, okay, there's, there's no savior in their family, no good Samaritan, no friends, nothing like that is going to happen. Just bury the person. And if if by chance someone comes around to ask about uh, an, an unclaimed body, you can say, well, such and such a person, if you want you want some a photo of this, we have photos of the last, how he was when he died, and here's his ID, we could give you a photo of that. But he has been um, buried, you know, buried. And this can be accomplished within, let's say one month. Let's say you want to give that dead body one month one month but to be in storage especially at the qeh where they start to decompose at the qeh and then who who has shares at these two funeral homes lindhurst L L lindhurst i mean is that a real name or did they give that name to their funeral home they so is someone is there a mr lindhurst in, in barbados because hearse they have hearse at, at as part of their name okay so how could that be but anyhow so this is Lynnhurst funeral home and two sons funeral home funeral you have to find out if any minister or maybe your prime minister has shares in these companies that they will keep a dead body for so long but this is something that should be resolved easily it should it should not it should have been resolved this is something that should have been straightened out ironed out in on your book something that you could do legally since years gone by since years past you should have been able to resolve this particular issue they what was his name jerome walcott where did he come they picked him up oh i mean he was gone for a long time i think we started calling his name so now you're seeing him you know in the paper you know he was getting paid for doing nothing we you know that right we we all know that that jerome walcott was getting a paycheck and he was doing nothing he was doing nothing you were doing nothing uh -huh. there he is you were doing nothing okay nothing a do nothing what was he a minister of health you are do nothing minister of health you only you're only out now showing your face well a, a photo because we have been asking are you still alive are you still a human resource or a human non resource so he's out there talking and trying to show that hey see here i'm alive and i'm working and i deserve every penny i get from the taxpayers he's a do nothing minister okay he's a do they 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 are a do nothing minister okay so this amendment to resolve is nothing to resolve it's nothing to resolve if your loved one is at a storage area at the Queen Elizabeth Hospital, you're not going to recognize them, probably, probably. You won't recognize them when you do go and get them because their refrigeration is not really, you know, it's on the blitz, okay? Their refrigeration is on the blitz, okay? And then if they are two sons or Lynnhurst, they shouldn't be. By the time you transfer them from the Queen Elizabeth Hospital, you kind of know. You kind of know no one's come to get these people. There's no savior here. Okay. So like I said, yes. Yes. I have to repeat myself. Okay. Take a photo. Keep their ID. Put it in. Keep it at the archives. Somewhere at the archives. 
and bury that person. Put that person in a potter's grave or if you're going to cremate them, use it. You use them as fertilizer. There are not enough bodies to to really, you know, make a living. You could you, the government could go into that, but I don't know if there are not enough bodies to actually turn over some sort of profit by using them as compost. But do something. Don't keep them on storage. Don't keep these people on cold storage, especially not at the Queen Elizabeth Hospital. This is Sherry Veronica.